Well, hello guys, watching the Geeks and today we're talking about my London Comic Con experience meeting Shooty Gatwa, Millie Gibson, and Alexander, the, the guy who plays the Colonel, the unit soldier. Um, him. We'll get on to in a minute. So, I'm going to try and go in timeline order of my event and my experience at Comic Con, the good and the bad. So, let's go. So, first off, I arrived and they were kept sent telling me to uh, Diamond Pass was on the other end when it was trying to get in. It wasn't, it was actually inside the venue, so they were misleading me from the start, really. But as soon as I got to the event, I was like, Shooty Gatwa isn't here all day. I need to meet him and get his autograph. So that was definitely the plan of action. And there we have it, Shooty Gatwa's autograph. It says Nakuti, the 15th X kit, uh, XO. So yeah, uh, which is very cool and obviously goes next to Jody's and all the other autographs I have in this book. Um, now, for the first time ever, they got me. They actually got me. When me and Shooty Gatwa, I always record to the uh, record and secretly talk to the guests and record it. They found out. Damn it. Out of five, six years I've been doing Comic-Con now and how many guests I've secretly recorded talking to and just spoke to them because I like to remember, capture the moment and have it. Yeah, this woman, uh, I, I secretly record talking to him, sent it from a distance. Got him a little bit on camera. However, this woman clocked it and was like, put that away. So I got caught filming. But anyway, I spoke to Shooty. He was lovely. His, uh, he was very like, oh, look, Jody's autograph and stuff on the box set. And he signed it. You weren't allowed any personalised, like your name or anything. You weren't allowed because he was very busy. You had a couple minutes, like a minute max with him. Uh, I said... And I asked him the question of flying the TARDIS, do you get to choose which buttons to press? Do you get to do that? Or do they tell you? And he said he gets to choose. So I got a little bit of that out of him. I gave him an envelope with my monster design because I drew a monster that I kind of wanted. And it said to Russell if he could give it to him. And he said, yeah, sure. So my monster hopefully gets to Russell when he sees it. It's a, it's a possibility. Um, then I went straight to Millie Gibson. Now, I did secretly record talking to her and they did not find out. So, my actual me talking to Millie Gibson is actually on my YouTube shorts and on my TikTok. So, check out of me actually talking to her. Uh, there's the autograph there and it says Ruby. Uh, she wasn't allowed to do personalised when I got to her as well, which was kind of like, ah. But I did say about the Coronation Street episode with you that you did do it on top of the roof with the CGI. Did that help with Doctor and stuff? And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. And she was very enthusiastic, very fun. And then I gave her the envelope of my monster. And she's like, yeah, I will definitely, I 100% give this to him. No worries and stuff like that. And she was very lovely, very nice, of course. And uh, then I went straight to the photos with no time at all. It's really back-to-back -back autograph and photo and queuing that way and then going straight and not having much time until the photos. So here you can see me and Shooty doing the regeneration pose. You know, when the doctors regenerate, they do the pose. I asked him to do that and we did it. So there we go. Shooty Gatwa regenerating for me. What can you say? I got three photos with him. Uh, and he was like, hello again and stuff. So he recognised me. We did the standard smiley photo there. And then... Of course, I had to get him doing the sonic screwdriver. Um, very cool. My cat is meowing. We have to ignore that for now. Um, it won't be too long anyway. Um, after that, after that, the queuing for Shooty was horrendous. Like, literally, it was very hot and crowded and stuffed. And honestly, it was boiling. And when we got to a certain area of the room queuing air cold air just hit me and i was like oh it was so nice <laughs> it's literally like oh there we go it was nice to have some cold air um that's something to just quickly say it was horrendous in the queuing and the organizing but i couldn't do a better job so hats up fair play and hats off to them i guess then i went and met millie gibson who recognized me as well she's like hello again and she was lovely and uh, i was like I gave her Matt Smith's one because I thought she's a massive Matt Smith girly. Here you go. And she was like, yeah, sure. And uh, I said, have a great day. And she said, thank you and stuff. Then I went for the duo photo. So yet again, both forms like, hello again and stuff. And I was like, what do you want to do? And did the Sonics. And yeah, it's very cool. And that one was kind of a, a little bit shorter. So it was a little bit more like, ah. 
and this one was only having like 25 people in 30 people um what am i doing in this photo you might think um basically i gave him my house key and was like could you um give me the keys to the tardis in the photo and he's like oh yeah and then we did it and I said to him, because it was my last photo, it was my last time meeting Shooty. Also, Shooty walked past me and I secretly recorded it and put it on my TikTok and stuff anyway. But um, before, this is my last time meeting Shooty of the day. So I said to him, as I grabbed my key, I was like, good luck for your play. And he was like, thank you. So Shooty was lovely and brill. Then I went to Millie again. And yet again, oh, hello again. And I just wanted to stand a nice photo. I thought that was quite nice. It looks good. And then I had like a three hour wait till my next photo shoot. So I was like, oh, but also I was like, oh, at least I don't have to keep queuing, I guess. I looked around the event for like half an hour. Nothing good in the stalls, in my opinion. Very, eh. I went upstairs and sat on the floor upstairs for like three hours on my phone doing whatever. And then finally it come to five o'clock. Got my photo with this guy, Mr. Colonel, um, unit soldier guy, who I think is going to be a big character. A lot of female and, I guess, male people, uh, whatever, whatever your fancy of this guy, um, a lot of people are saying he's very attractive and stuff. So he's got definitely the fan's eye. So also him being in the Doctor Who spin-off show, as a unit soldier and him holding Kate's hand in the finale and being a little bit of a love interest to Kate, I think this guy's going to be a big character, not only for the fans, but for the show. I think he's going to be reappearing and a, an interesting one to deal with. So I thought I need to meet him. He's going to be a big character, not as big as like Captain Jack or something, but he's going to be a big character for the new season of Doctor Who. So I felt like I had to meet him. And when I met him, before he was shaking everyone's hand, he was literally bending down because he's very tall, trying to please everyone. He was lovely. And I said to him, hey, how, hey, it's nice to meet you. And he's like, oh, hey, how, how, uh, how do you want the photo? I said, let's do a pointing one. We did a pointing one. I said, have a great day. And he said, thank you. Pat him on the back and off I went. Off I went home. After a long day at Comic-Con with a lot of queuing. I have a massive headache, by the way. But before, whilst I was waiting for three hours, I always forget and I never get collect the gift. When I buy a diamond pass for Millie Gibson and Shooter Gatware, when you buy a diamond pass, you get a gift. A power pack. Not even opened it. Don't know. It's a phone charger power pack thing. Cool. For Shooty. I never owned an umbrella in my life, but Millie Gibson's gift was an umbrella. I don't even know if it if it works or not um will i ever use it i don't know but free gifts not free you paid so much for it the talk for my diamond pass was shooty i doubt i'm gonna get a refund but they said they would pay people for refunds i don't know if it happens it happens it's it's 20 pound it's 25 pound it is a bit it's money but if it's lost it's lost you know uh, Shooty's talk didn't happen because obviously at two o'clock, three o'clock, Shooty had, got, well, had to leave the Comic Con to do a play because um, he's filming for that in London. So fair enough, fair play. So Millie Gibson was beautiful and brilliant and lovely. I've obviously recorded secretly talking to her it's on my TikTok, on my YouTube shorts. I really had a good time with her. I think she's very touchy, very. I think she's been exhausted. She was still going as um, I seen her when I was coming out as well. Um, with her boyfriend or something because he was hugging around her. So I seen her. She was still going at the Comic-Con as I was leaving. She was very busy. I bet she's tired after today. But she was lovely. Shooty Gat work was incredible and amazing. Very fun. Very energetic. Very smiley. Very up for doing all the poses that I wanted to do with him. So would recommend people meeting him. Um, and I'm happy with my autographs. I'm glad I got them out of the way at the beginning of the day than later on because it got chaotic. But yeah, 8 out of 10 experience London Comic Con. That's my thoughts and opinions, guys. That's my experience at London. Now I've met all the living doctors. I've met from literally every living doctor now, so that's cool. And I've met all the new Who companions I want to meet. So, well, it's going to be a while till I go to another Comic Con, I think. So, 
or if not, this is the last. Either way, that's my thoughts and opinions, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in a video soon. Have a nice day.